when Dad died, he had this shit blog that he was really proud of before Tumblr was even a thing. And you would have thought he just invented space travel because he was beaming for days, you know, going upstairs, put another post on, gotta keep my views up, son. And he'd look at me like, see, we understand each other. But I told him no fucker in the right mind wanted to know about middle-aged running clubs. And he said, that's where you're wrong, son. That's where you are so very wrong. He used to say that a lot. And you try not to let me get to him. Because for some reason, I used to like to undermine him, even though I loved him. But when he signed up for the London Marathon, he linked it to his Just Given page, and it was like he had landed on the moon. <laughs> Mum always said it was unfair that a man that fit should just drop down dead. And her friend says, it's always the ones you least suspect. So I told her to go fuck herself, in my head, not out loud. Because everyone looks at you really hard when it's your father's funeral. Shannon kept fainting, which was very annoying. And mom kept holding my hand saying, thank you for keeping it together. We need you to keep us all together. So that's when I decided I wasn't going to be what they needed. Online there are people who make Facebook pages for dead people, loved ones, relatives, pets. Mom wanted me to make a page on his blog about what had happened. You know, they need to know, she said. <sighs> That's not how it works, Mom. They're not pen pals. They'll probably think he just gave up blogging for a little bit. Then I just rolled my eyes at her. Sometimes I did check it just to see if he had any more views. But then I realized I was the only one making the counter go up. <laughs>